So after years of hard work and research, the Butterfly Pavilion has landed on a major breakthrough. For the first time ever, scientists were able to get a native Colorado firefly species to reproduce after being born in captivity, making the pavilion the first organization to complete its full life cycle under human care. The Butterfly Pavilion's Vice President of Science and Conservation, Rich Reading, is joining me now. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you so much for having me. We've had a lot of time to chat about the Butterfly Pavilion and you, what you guys do there really is fascinating. So talk about why this is such a breakthrough. This is amazing because fireflies are declining in, worldwide. Light pollution, overuse of pesticides, and uh, loss of habitat are the main reasons. Mm -hmm. So what we can do by breeding fireflies under human care is we can, head, we call it head start them. We can raise them under human care until they reach, because it took three years for this larvae to become an adult. Wow. So we can raise them under human care when they're, they're, most, they're most vulnerable juvenile stages yeah. and then release them back into the wild so they can reestablish populations. So we're hoping to do that right at our facility in the next year or so. The larvae is is like that for three years before? Three years, living what? in the soil. It's a little carnivorous, looks like a little dinosaur. And they eat other um, worms and snails and things. And how long do they live after that? They only live a few weeks. Oh yeah, two gosh, or three weeks. So short. They live a short lifespan. Um, a lot of insects spend the majority of their lifetime as larvae. Uh -huh. So it was juvenile, so they get to be kids most of their life, okay. as I was saying. And, what a dream. Um, yeah, live the dream. <laughs> and then they emerge. And at Butterfly Pavilion, we're doing that with a lot of things. We're working with a lot of critters to try to restore their populations. It's hard work. It takes years of dedication, but our staff are up to the task. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you is, like, how much went into getting to this point? It took a lot of work trying to even get the, the larvae to pupate and emerge as adults. We had to kind of change light and dark cycles, um, substrates, uh, temperatures. Wow. So we had to overwinter them. We put them in a cooler so they could overwinter like they were within the wild. And finally, we kind of, we call it cracking the code. We cracked the code at Butterfly Pavilion. We figured out how to get them to emerge as adults. And then this year we got, we figured out how to get them to breed under human care. And then we have larvae from that female. That's On incredible. July 19th was our first larvae from the female. Wow, I, t I was telling you, I have never seen a firefly in my life. You were shocked. But there are fireflies in Colorado. They are, they're few and far between, but they're around. Little pockets of wetland habitat. So we go up to, um, up to uh, Fort Collins to get the fireflies that we're working with, which by the way are new to science. So we're gonna be naming them in the near future. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't know. We've got to come up with some good names. I know. Can we be part of the naming conference? You could be you part of that. Yeah, we should. Public. We should, actually. That's a good idea. <laughs> and then um, there's some in Longmont. There's some in Boulder. There's some up in um, one of the hot springs has some. Okay. Overlook Hot Springs. Um, there's some out, out west. And then most of the fireflies, this is a fun fact, in Colorado are dark. They don't light up as adults, so you don't see them. They only light up when they're larvae as little glowworms. Okay, who knew? All right, so what's next in the process for you guys? So next, we're gonna keep breeding them under human care, okay. and then we're gonna restore populations into the wild and recover fireflies wherever we can, wherever there's a good wetland. Yeah. So for example, in our backyard, there's a restored wetland. We're gonna put fireflies into that wetland, and hopefully we'll have right at our facility fireflies that people can come and see. Oh, it's just so fascinating. And you know, the Butterfly Pavilion, you guys do such great work there. We were talking about all the projects that you guys Thanks. have going on. It's endless there. It's a, it's a great place to work, and um, people should come out. If they wanna learn more, butterflies.org is a great place to go to pick up more information about our projects. Yeah. If they wanna volunteer and help us, they can do that too. Yeah, it's a big operation to make it go around, and it's just so much fun to go out there. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks again for having me. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.